What is that terrible smell? Is it spoiled fruit? A rotten egg? A dead animal? It's actually coming from this cage fungus, which is in the absolute prime of its life. That horrible smell is part of an elaborate hoax to fake its own death. Like most mushrooms, what you see is only a small part of the organism. The vast majority is hidden below the surface in an expansive network of minuscule threads called the mycelium. Cage fungus is saprobic. The mycelium eats dead and rotting wood, digesting the cellulose and returning nutrients to the soil. When the weather is warm and wet and there's plenty of wood around, the mycelium creates an egg, this brain-looking thing that pops up above ground. A white leathery membrane protects the egg as it grows and stretches until it cracks open. The spongy lattice bursts outward. After a few hours, it looks and smells like a basket made of decaying flesh. The interior surfaces of the lattice are coated in a sickly brown slime called galiba. That horrendous odor emanates from those sticky globs. The open lattice shape helps the stench spread in the breeze. But to a fly, that reek is irresistible. It screams rotting carcass, a delectable meal or a place to lay their eggs. The gaps in the lattice are just the right size for the flies to pop in and out. They traipse around, gobbling up the goo. The flies love it, but what's in it for the fungus? Well, the fungus needs something that the flies have, wings. While many mushrooms spread their spores by releasing them into the wind, the cage fungus gets the flies to do all the work. As they feed, the flies unintentionally down millions of the fungus's microscopic spores, hidden inside the dark slime. The gleba also clings to the fly's feet. When the flies lift off, they take the spores with them, spreading them far and wide. After about a day, the lattice starts to collapse. Having successfully spread its spores, this is the end of its story. Or is it? When the conditions are right, the fungus will pop up more eggs year after year, continuing its deception for the sake of future generations. Hi, Laura here. If you think flies and fungus make a winning combination, Deep Look's got another episode for you. This killer fungus turns flies into zombies. And a special shout out and thank you to Jessica Ho, whose generous monthly support on Patreon helps make Deep Look possible. If you want to support us on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Thanks.